Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I will show you my smartphone microscope or cell phone microscope. It doesn't matter uh, what's important to have a camera on the back of your smartphone. <coughs> it's a kind of clip-on or snap-on type of microscope with two LEDs, two white LEDs on the, on the sides and there is a UV blue LED on the middle for currency checking. I will use it for PCB evaluation and solder joint checking in my laboratory. It has a 60 zoom factor and yeah, and pretty cheap, a few, few dollars. And I'm using it for a few weeks and I can say it's worth the price. So it's yeah, it's it's not not say sophisticated quality, um, thousands dollar microscope um, type, but but it does the job for the for the six USD six dollars. <coughs> Basically, you can clip on your smartphone like this, and it has an embedded light source. So I turn on. Here is the battery inside this tube, plastic housing, and with, you can, if you rotate this head, you can replace the battery. You can open this container. So I switch on my camera. Uh, you have to position the microscope to be in the middle of the viewfinder. And I use the digital zoom as well. So here is the magnified image of the box containing my microscope. Give it a small bag. Here is a PCB. Yeah. <coughs> Here are the solder joints. Cheap. Yeah, one problem when you want to look from the side of the component, so I'm now bending the PCB like this. Then the microscope cannot cannot focus anymore. It's the object becomes too far away from the from the end of the microscope, so you have to play a little bit with it. And it has, yeah, it's a strange shaped plastic at the bottom of the microscope, so you have a little bit, you can play with it to, to catch the focus. Here is another offset printed page or something like that. Yeah, and basically I can I can make uh, shots. Of course. 
and if I want I can ma make video as well use a leaf let's check it And here you may play with the orientation of the light to have better images. Let's check the currency detector feature. I have to change the light for the UV type. <coughs> As you can see on the big camera here are the UV sensitive ink or inklet the small sections it's a kind of safety painting on the currency Here it is. Yeah, maybe if sometimes the image is blurry, then it's because the big camera cannot focus on the smartphone <laughs> enough, so <clears throat> apologize for this. I will include the, my screenshot pictures at the end of this video, so you can check the quality. Okay, so that's it. So my opinion that this is a pretty pretty good microscope for this price and I'm use it on daily basis on my lab for professional work and it cannot you cannot use it for uh, instead of a few thousand dollar microscope stereo microscope but it's pretty handful for small screenshots when you are working with PCBs or or currency or or something like that but needs needs a little bit magnification so thank you for watching this video and have a nice day bye bye